Hey, boys and girls, today's Friday. It's way late in the afternoon. It's almost dinner time at my house. Um, but I thought I'd jump on and read you a story because, you know, it's what I do. I love reading to you. So I've got to read the back of this story first. This story is called Do Not Open This Book. On um, the back it says, Caution. Opening this book may cause acute merriment, uncontrollable hilarity, with chronic gasps and giggles. Additional side effects may include sparks of creativity and ignited imaginations. Not recommended for people ages one to 101. Don't even think about opening it this way either. <laughs> it sounds like a good one. All right. Do not open this book by Michaela. Montine, illustrated by Pascal Lemaitre. Fancy name. Um, excuse me. But did you read the front cover of this book? Are you always so rude? I said, do not open this book. No trespassing. Do not open this book by Michaela Montine, illustrated by Pascal Lemaitre. For Maddie and Alex, who loved words, to Lin Lin and Mahina from Mail Lemaitre. Okay. Hmm. Wonder what he's building. <clears throat> Excuse me, but who do you think you are opening this book when the cover clearly says, do not open this book. If a sign on the door reads, do not enter, do you enter? Of course you don't. At least you would knock first. There's his workbench. The reason you weren't supposed to open this book is because it is not written yet. Look at this blank page. Look at this jumble of words. a good word. Humongous. That's one of my favorites. Caution. Thinking in progress. You think it's easy to put words together? Ha! Now, go away. I need time to think. The little fly is meditating too right here, you see him? Now what? Can't you see I'm busy? I'm trying to decide what, to what type of story to write. Perhaps I will write a scary story. Or oh, maybe a bedtime story? After you go to sleep, I will be able to get to work. work. Even if you are snoring, it'll be better than having you Stare at me. I like the way those eyes look. Ah, why are you still here? A kiss? No. I have an idea. If you sit very still and are very quiet, I will try to work while you are watching me. But Please, no matter what you do, do not turn pages while I am working. Page turning during story writing can cause words to blow around and they might end up in the wrong order, okay? Here I go. I am starting my story. And of course we have to turn the page. How are we gonna know what's gonna happen? A ferocious Storm. Oh, gotta open the whole thing. All right, ready? 
A ferocious storm swept through the forest. A tiny mouse hid beneath a pink flower. A tiger paced and flashed its big sharp teeth, trying to take a bite of the roaring wind. Big ferocious mouse flashed sharp pink teeth. Oof! Pitch black darkness. I warned you about what might happen if you turn pages. Now you see how careful you have to be with words. Boo. This time I am going to make sure you do not turn the page. Do I have to tell you again, do not turn the page? Very heavy rock. That will not stop me. Ta -da. Very heavy rock. Oh, you are very strong. Do you work out at a gym? Okay, I give up since you won't go away. I will make this story about you. What's your name? Oh, I can't spell that. Hmm, I'll tell you what, I will leave a blank like this. So whenever you see a blank in the story, say your name, ready? Okay, now you can turn the page. There once was a giant pest named David. <laughs> David had huge eyes, humongous ears, and too many teeth. You didn't think I was going to make it about myself, did you? Ooh. Also a big nose. It did not matter how many times David was asked to go away. David would not go. Finally, I called the giant pest control company. Hello, I said. I am on page 29 of an unwritten book and a giant pest named David will not stop bothering me. I cannot work. I cannot stand this for another second. So please send someone right away to help me get rid of David. You all are free to put your own name in there. You are still here? I thought my story would make you so mad that you would slam this book and go away. Don't you have anything better to do? Maybe you could go bother someone else. Maybe you could go watch your toenails grow. That does not sound exciting. Oh, look, I am almost out of pages. Wow, I wrote a whole book. It was pretty good too, wasn't it? With that part, the, the part about the big ferocious mouse was scary. So in a way it was a scary story. It was a bedtime story too, because I am certainly very tired. I am going to sleep now. Goodbye. Oh, um, thank you for helping me write this book. I couldn't have done it without you. Now go away. Good night. Book award. Always dreaming about a book award. Caution. Sleep in progress. The end. All right, friends, have a good weekend. I'll see you on Monday with new things to do. Let me know how you're doing. Send me an email, send me a text, send me a picture. Okay, guys, have a great weekend. Bye.